Hi guys, my name is Dominic Flux and today I'm joined by Joanne Bosejo. She is an FTA gemologist who specializes in pearls and today we're going to be looking at really the prices for pearls, the different types and so you can get a better idea of you know what to expect. If you are curious about the basics of pearls, we did a video last week so we'll just tag to it down below if you want to watch that about like how pearls are made, the different qualities, identifying synthetics. So do feel free to watch that because today is really going to be looking at market value because I know you guys love that. So we're going to start off with the more kind of common pearls, uh, standard pearls so that you guys can get basic prices and then we're going to go into more extravagant, more rare pearls at the very end, some eye candy if you will, so make sure you stay for that. We prepare an example of all a um, wide strand of pearl, different uh, shape and really different price because you can really have pearl for all the budget. For example, here we have a baroque pearl, so it's a pearl who is really on a regular. That's usually the less expensive kind of pearl. For a strand, just for the pearl without the work and the class because they can add a lot of value on your jewelry. Uh, just for pearl like that, you can expect uh, between 20 and 50 dollars, maybe a little bit more if it's very high quality, mm -hmm. just for the pearl. After that, we can have some, uh, what we call a potato shape. So it's something really uneven. Those ones are pretty low quality. We see we have a lot of blemish, not super high luster. Something like that for a very low quality, you can pay around 20, 25, 30 dollars just for the pearl. You always have to think about the work also. That's what we call a um, rice pearl, so it's oval. Something like that, it's more regular, that's a, a good alternative for uh, if you cannot pay for the round one. For those, you can expect to go around 60 to 80 dollars, very high quality and very high luster can be more expensive than that, but something like that will go into that range. To that we have the off-round pearl, so it's look round when you see it, but when you, 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 roll, it. Roll, you roll it, thank you, it's, we see it's not very regular. Something like that, depending on the quality, can be between $100 and $400 for a strand. And you have the most expensive one, the very, very high quality, that's a saltwater pearl, a Koya, Japanese one, super high luster, perfectly round, no blemish, something like that. You can expect to pay uh, between $2,000 and $5,000 just for the pearl. And usually we make it with a very high quality of class with gold, something, sometimes with stone, so. Uh, these are all, like these ones, for example, are seven millimeters. Yeah. Would you have any examples of slightly higher? as well slightly higher in uh, price like in size for example oh in size yeah the seven millimeter is probably one of the most popular okay. um the most popular it's six seven eight eight and eight millimeter okay. uh but for round pearl for example in akoya the biggest usually in the regular market it's eight and a half nine but because it's a very very small animal but sometimes we can have some really rare one up to 10 millimeters and that's the price, it's super, super expensive. It okay. can be ta many thousand dollars for one pearl. One pearl, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, because yeah, like she said, I think it's very rare and the growth period is also much longer as well. Yeah, and because the animal, it's big like that, it's just 10 centimeter of diameter, so it's very rare. They can succeed to produce something that big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, these are very, very reasonable prices. If you don't necessarily, I don't want to say mind not having me fully round, I mean, I feel like it's it's very doable. Yeah, of course. It's very fun, for example, to make a lot of bracelets for summer, and it's yeah. very fun to add a lot of different mm -hmm. bracelets together. And I think that a lot of the times we do see mostly round, but I feel like the other shapes are just as beautiful. So it's less classic also. It's the younger generation really love those kind of things more and more. Mm -hmm. But I see a lot of my my mother, my grandmother wear really round pearl and when I was younger it I, I think it was like really old 
fashion way, yeah. I begin to love it more. What do you think about all the new fashion trends of all the men wearing? Oh, I love it. I love it too. Yeah. I'm, I don't know why it hasn't come sooner. I feel like Pharrell, he was wearing pearls for quite a long time, I think. And I was like, mm -hmm. why did it take so long? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why? Great. It's just for a moment. Yeah. All right, so let's jump into the eye candy. So we have a beautiful selection of higher quality pearls, so yeah. Here we have some rarest color of Akoya, that's the Japanese pearl. So we can have some blue Akoya, those ones are Baroque, but we can have some really round one, like here, for example, we have some different color. Usually Akoya, it's white, but sometimes we can have a lot of overtone, very eye. So for example, a necklace like that, with round and very colorful. They can be between $2,000 to $5,000 just for the pearl. So that we can have the South Sea Pearl, so the golden one. That's a rare color, very popular in a lot of parts in the world. Those ones are irregular shape, so that's make it more affordable, but even with irregular shape, we have something around Two thousand to three thousand dollar. If mm -hmm. we speak about something perfectly round, can be fifteen thousand dollar. It can be even see some big and super high quality goes to uh, ten thousand dollar really easily. And we can have some very fun and different color as well. Something like that. That's a mix of South Sea and the Taishan Pro Circle One, but with all natural color, what we call peacock. So it's a mix in um, eggplant and green color on the same pearl. And it was like this one can be around 2,500. Just Taishan, we can have some, the round and the big one can be really, really pricey. This one, it's a necklace, a little bit less pricey because we have a little bit of blemish, but if you see that monster of pearl, it's 16.7 millimeters. So wow, that's, that's a beautiful. very big one. Yeah. So that necklace, it's a $4,000, but because they have little blemish. But even with blemish, it's very beautiful on a neck. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's a very nice effect that it goes smaller to large. Yeah, we call it graduated necklace. In French, we call it en chute. So it's like a waterfall. Mm -hmm. So the same thing we have here, really high color of, uh, of Taishan. Something like that can be around 4000 to $5,000. And even in uh, fresh water, we can have very high quality. That's a round fresh water, really big. That's between 10 and 14 millimeter. Mm -hmm. It's perfect, super high luster. This is $2,000 even for fresh water. It's really look like a, south, a white South Sea from Australia, but for like five times less of the mm -hmm. price. Okay. And those are natural color of fresh water. We can have very high color, like orangey, golden, that's super fun. And those kind of pearl, we can find it between like 500 to 3000 dollars, depending on the size and the the luster of the pearl and the matching. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the rarest pearls, what can we expect? Really the rarest one is the natural one, the one we not we, we don't culture. So we have some variety we cannot culture, uh, like uh, for example the abalone, because all the one we culture is uh, what we call a bivalve, so they are two part and they can open it. Mm -hmm. the, the abalone it's just an animal with one a layer of Nicker on the back, like kind of a turtle. Okay. <laughs> but, okay. And uh, all of the abalone are uh, as uh, hemophilia, so we cannot do any culture because if they have a little blister or something in it, they, they can just bleed to uh, to death. Oh my god! Okay. So we cannot culture it, and it's very rare to find a pearl because it's need to have like a parasite come inside the animal, not killing it, so they will make a natural pearl. Um, we have other variety like uh, the conch pearl, uh, who is not nacreous. That's really cute, really small. We can have some flame a little bit on it. Uh, it's 
like look like porcelain and they really like pink that's really cute i love conch pearls it's such a unique look it, it doesn't yeah. look like a pearl no it does not at all different. yeah but that's really rare we cannot culture it so we need to find it do you know some general market prices like for example if somebody wanted like a six million uh, conch pearl it, it can be thousand of pearl depend really the okay. the color when the color is very deep pink if they have the the pattern of flame on it that's very popular it can be like million of dollar if you succeed to have a, a necklace almost matching wow. they can work like 20 years on the same necklace to finish to I guess also around, you, just, yeah. you have to wait for more pearls to come <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, that's Dude. crazy yeah Oh, we have so many interesting things that we can make jewelry with. Like, it's really, really cool. Well, thank you so much for doing this video with us. Again, if you haven't uh, seen it, make sure you check out the basics of pearls, which we covered in another video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'd love to know which ones are your favorites. If you are interested in purchasing a pearl necklace, do send us an email. The links are down below. And we'd just like to say thank you. Hope you subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.